the bus stop, taxi stop, just it's around 8 o'clock. The whole area is just quiet, so only you can hear my, my voice. So there are 600, 700 around people they gather. So when I start telling about the gospel, people they start crying. Even Muslims continue. Nobody strong stone just keep silent crying. But the government they arrest me as a They say we must put her far from the city so she can't pray, she can't do anything. There is around 23 metal shipping container. When we came closer to the container, I saw young people, they start peering us. The girl, he came and he opened one container, he pushed us in. The container is not clean have small insects, so he starts crunch your body. We are asking, where is the light? So he said, no, where is the light? And in the night, it's extremely cold. Just I say, the only we can do now, we sing. We have no toilet, we have no nothing. We sleep on the floor and I'm hungry to tell people about the gospel, the word of God, he have power. So I say, God help me, give me word. So all the time I'm writing four, five letters every day for prisoners. I have been for two years now. They ask me, Helen, where is the Bible? So I told them I have no Bible. So how, how you remember this? You have been for two years but you, you write like this. So how will you remember this? So I told them, it's in my mind. In your mind? So they start beating me a lot in my head and long beating. So after a word, he says, just go to the container, he kicked me. I stay the whole night, it's bloody pain. Early in the morning, they came again. But now you must stop teaching guards. So I told him, no, if somebody came around my container, I'm preaching. I can't stop preaching. So he started taking this um, stick. When he beat you with this stick, you feel the whole your body fire. They know where is the nerves. So my body starts shaking by, by itself. Helen, you must stop preaching God. So just I kept silent, his eyes red, and yeah, he beat me countless. Now it's the, the last one because I have no energy, I know. So just I start preparing myself to die. So uh, at last he's totally exhausted. So just I look at him, yeah, you, you did your job. Also, I'm doing my job. So they took me to other container, the worst container. It's dark, I can't see anything. Just I'm standing and um, <laughs> start singing. Just doesn't matter. God gave me a new song. So just I'm singing the whole night. All the prisoners can hear. Thank you for everything, God. The bad toilet cold, hot, everything, because I, I love to worship him, he's my father. After the last uh, torture, I stay for eight months, but my situation, just I'm very sick, they don't have enough medicine, they think I'm dying, they don't want you to die inside the prison, they don't want to take this kind of responsibility, so they send me home but always security around me. I ask God, please, I need to leave this country. I stay for 10 months treatment. Within one month, the Danish government accepted me. I'm, I'm start to sing and write my own songs. 